story it is. The Braves win again and stay on top of the pennant chase in the National League West. But that's just the beginning of the story because the Braves made baseball history tonight. For the first time ever in the National League, the Braves pitch a combined no-hitter. Three Braves pitchers go to the mound tonight, and not one gives up a hit. The Braves are hot, and Jeff Hollinger is here to tell us how hot. Every night there's something great to talk about, it seems, and everything the Braves touch comes up golden. The first no-hitter by the Braves here since 1973, and Nuxie, Phil Necro, Kent Merker, Mark Wallers, and Alejandro Pena combined tonight. One night County Stadium where Bill Hartman is standing by live with one of the great heroes of tonight. This is Kent Merker. Gentlemen. Mr. Merker, by the way, went six complete. He once retired 15 batters in a row. First of all, congratulations. You're in the history books now. Second of all, when you came off that field after the sixth inning, did you guys talk about the no-hitter in the dugout? Uh, I did after I knew I was out. You know, it's it's always a jinx to talk about a no-hitter while it's going on. And, and uh, so after I knew I was out, then I talked about it. But other than that, I, you know, I kept it quiet. You know, you're pretty calm right now. I mean, you've just uh, done something that is so rare, it's unbelievable. No one in the National League has ever combined for a no-hitter with the other pitchers. Uh, when is it going to hit you, Kent? I don't know. You know, I... Things don't usually sink into me. I mean, good or bad, I, I kind of try to stay at an even keel and, and not get too excited or too down when things don't go right. So uh, I don't know. Maybe this offseason I'll sit back and I'll watch the tape or something, and, and then maybe it'll sink in then. Well, Kent started. You know, he's usually a relief pitcher, but uh, he's sort of the fifth starter that gets it going. Do you like this role, or would you like to be the starter who could go nine and have a no-hitter? Uh, you know, I just want to pitch, and right now they, they need me in the fifth fifth role as the fifth starter, and, uh, you know, i got to get my arm back in shape. You know, if, four, if that was three or four starts yeah. more under my belt, I might have been able to go the distance tonight. But, uh, you know, I just want to pitch. I want to help the team win games. We're in a pennant race. It's exciting. And I just, I just want to do my part, whatever it may be, to help win. All right, you got to go home, call mom and dad? Yeah, I was kind of upset they didn't get to watch the game tonight, but I'll yeah. tell them about it. All right, Kent Merker, congratulations. You. You're in the history books. Jeff, when we come back later in sports, we'll hear from the others, Pena and Mr. Wallers, who were part of this historic no-hit night. We're also going to hear from Kent's wife, Julie. So all of that coming up in a few minutes right here on Eyewitness News. It looks like the Braves lead is going to be a half game of the West because the Dodgers are up on Houston big. We'll have more on that coming up in a few minutes, but a night of history. History at the stadium, and history just seems to be the uh, the buzzword right now out there during this marvelous season. No one's complaining. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. Really can't do that much more to excite the crowd. I got it figured that uh, there were 20,000, just over 20,000 tonight at the stadium. But tomorrow there'll probably be, when you say around 21. Atlanta, yeah, there'll probably be 40,000. So that, oh, we saw it. We were there. Yeah, great game. Yeah. In case you've just joined us, we told you earlier in Action News the Atlanta Braves with the first National League combined no hitter tonight. They beat the San Diego Padres one to nothing. A three pitcher effort, sensational effort at that. The Braves stretch their winning streak now to six, and they snap the Padres' win streak at seven. A historic night at the stadium. Let's check it out. The uh, you know, 10, 20, 30 years down the road, I'll tell my kids and my grandkids, and, and yeah, I did catch a no-hitter in the big leagues, and not too many people can say that. We're assuming the crowd's cleared out a little bit by now. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> uh, although I think some of them enjoyed sitting here and savoring what they saw tonight. As we mentioned earlier, uh, Atlanta Braves history, a combined no-hitter. Here's how the scenario developed tonight. Now, ball, I got lost the ball in the lights. I, I when it, Once it got up, I lost it, and I just reached for it and never touched it, but thank you for the E5. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was going on until the fifth. I looked up and said, gee, after the fifth, and uh, he told me I was only going one more. And, and, uh, you know, it really didn't bother me coming out in that situation. It's, it's what's best for the team at that point. And, you know, independent race as close as it is, you know, he's calling the shots, and he called the right shot tonight. Well, we were playing the Expos in spring training, and we won hit the, uh, the Expos down there, and I was the guy to give up a hit <laughs> to Spike Owen. But, you know, that ran through my mind a little bit afterwards. All right, two very quick notes. The official score can change his call. He's got 24 hours to do so. Also, as far as uh, Wohlers is concerned, as I said, he only expected to go one, and he went two. Quite a surprise for him. Back with more after this, including a look at the Dodgers. So far in the 90s, there have been 14. In the 80s, there were only 13 total. But the defining element of this Braves team is the term team. Everybody is contributing when called upon. Let's go to Bill Hartman at Fulton County Stadium, where he was inside the clubhouse after that one nothing victory. Bill? That's right, Jeff. We heard from Kent Merker live at the top of the show. There were two others, Mark Wallers and Alejandro Pena. Let's hear from those two now. 
Maybe it hasn't hit me yet. Like when I got called up, it didn't hit me for, you know, about a week that I was here. And maybe, maybe tomorrow when you read the papers or something, then it'll finally hit me what really happened. But you know, I'm just glad we won the ball game. Be yeah, a part of a uh, no hitter, you know. You gotta feel feel great and uh, feel I feel happy and uh, you know it's a great feeling for me because I, it's my my first time in my career that being a part of a, a no hitter. What an exciting night here at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. Jeff, back to you. Bill Hartman live from Fulton County Stadium. Bill, nice job. Also, Kent Merker's wife, Julie, was at the game tonight sitting behind home plate, and it was a wild evening for her as she watched. She isn't used to seeing her husband start, but she had a good feeling the entire way. And our Ken McLeod was able to talk tonight with Julie Merker. Well, he was always a closer before, and so I really never saw daylight out. <laughs> but now that he's starting, it's nice, it's nice to see a whole game, actually. <laughs> yeah, you all right. Again, the Braves win. one nothing is the final. The Dodgers are up 9-1 in the seventh, so it's the same as it ever was. Half game up. Yeah, too bad the Dodgers are up. <laughs> That's the only thing that could make this night better. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Chip.